Hi, Dr. Riaz Aga here, Harley Clinic Group on Harley Street. I wanted to speak to you about going over or under the muscle with your breast implant in, in breast augmentation. I do get lots of patients coming to me for consultations here on Harley Street saying, do you place the implant over the muscle or under the muscle? So the answer to that question is really, it depends. Whether you go over the muscle or under the muscle, it depends. Like with most things in plastic surgery. And it depends on what that particular patient is seeking, what are their particular goals, what kind of look do they want to have, how much soft tissue thickness they have, how much coverage do they have for an implant work to be placed into the chest and also really have they had any previous surgery? Have they had previous implants? Have they got previous surgery? What scars do they have? So those kinds of three things really determine whether you go over or under the muscle and also their lifestyle. Are they very active? Do they go to the gym a lot? Where going under the muscle might not be a good idea because if you go under the muscle then you have a lot of animation effects that occur with the muscle being raised up and having to keep the implant up. Sometimes they can feel like they're popping out with the muscle contracting and that can be quite uncomfortable for a patient who goes to the gym a lot. Really to take a step back, if you think about what makes a good breast, a good breast is one where the, the implant hasn't come too far around where it's underneath the armpit, where the implant is centered where the breast tissue is and it helps to allow for a good full lower pole, a good full upper pole, a good lateral clearly demarcated lateral pole to the breast, good medial sided cleavage and a, a nipple that's correctly positioned in the center meridian of the breast with the nipple pointing forwards or up at 20 degrees. That's what a good breast shape looks like and you kind of know it when you see it you know you can look in the mirror and say you know I like what I see or I don't. Some patients need to have a breast augmentation in combination with a lift. Breast implant coming in and being placed underneath the gland it helps does help to lift up a lot more uh, because of that profile so you have a high, more highly projecting profile placed immediately behind the gland i.e over the muscle it gives a little bit more lift to the breast. So that's one of the advantages that you get. You get a bit more focus on the soft overlying soft tissues when you place the implant closer to them and that's when you go over the muscle. The other thing that is important is when you place the implant over the muscle you're placing it where the breast tissue normally sits so it does feel like it's in a more natural pocket and you're not going to have the same degree of movements on the breast implant that you would have when it's placed underneath the muscle where it's subject to the muscle contraction. Now placing an implant over the muscle is good when you've got good overlying soft tissues and good thick soft tissues that's the skin that's the fat that's the gland and when you've got that then you have an implant that is then covered nicely by those tissues. Where you've got very thin soft tissues and your surgeon can determine this when they examine you then the implant edge is far more visible and you can see that edge so that it shows more that they've had a breast augmentation which some women won't want. They don't want to show that they've had it done. You want the implant to be more well covered. That's really important that you've got good soft tissue coverage. Thin soft tissue coverage the way around it is to go deeper and place it lift the muscle up and go underneath the muscle so you have more coverage for the implant and you can't see the outlines or any little ripples or nooks and crannies in the implant as easily. So the overlying soft tissue coverage of a patient is really important. That's something that's determined on examination. How much coverage do they have for an implant that's going to be placed inside? The other thing that's important is what kind of look do they want? Do they want to have a more augmented look? Uh, a look like that would be best served by going over the muscle so you have a maximum projection on the soft tissues by um, this sort of physical construct being there. When you go underneath the muscle, it does hurt a bit more. There's a bit of a longer recovery. It is a somewhat more unnatural because you have, got, have to raise the muscle up and then the muscle tends to push down on the implant and helps to keep it up. You can get what we call then a double bubble ultimately when if the gland falls down off the implant uh, because the muscle helps keep it up. It doesn't move as, we can move more independently of the implant. So the sort of relationship between the muscle, the implant, the gland is really important and when those relationships get disrupted that's when you get what we call a double bubble where the gland has fallen down relative to the implant or what we call bottoming out where the implant has fallen down relative to the breast gland. So maintaining those relationships is important. Your surgeon may offer doing a lift, he may offer different kinds of suturing techniques or bolstering of the lower pole that they may talk to you about to try and counteract some of these problems that occur with breast implants and um, the breast gland. Other thing that's important is when you're looking at patients who are having a reaugmentation, they've already got an implant in, they may already be placed over the muscle. When you then comes time to have a change either because of a different size or or they have had a problem with their implant, they've got a capsular contracture or they've had a rupture, then you have to then think, is it best to go into that same plane or pocket? 
or should you then go more deeper? Over time, soft tissues can thin out. So you can thin out the overlying skin, fat and gland by having an implant placed immediately behind them because of the pressure that it creates. So it may be time then to switch to going underneath the muscle when it comes to doing a reaugmentation. Sometimes as well, you can combine doing a reaugmentation with fat grafting and that's where you're placing fat in to say hide or blend out the upper pole of the implant. In summary, when you go and have a consultation with your plastic surgeon for breast augmentation, discuss with them about going over or under the muscle and ask them about their reasons for why they would recommend a particular choice. They will speak to you about your goals and desires, the prevailing anatomy that you have, any previous procedures that you've had and really ask you also about your lifestyle. If you're very busy and active, do a lot of gym work, placing it underneath the muscle when you've got good soft tissue thickness is not a good idea. Beware of anyone that says that they always do things a particular way. You need to have your approach tailored to you, to your goals and desires and your anatomy.